In this video, I will show you how to add shipping address on 1688.com. Sister, hope you know that you can add that your house address in 1688. Hope you know. Uh, see you, uh, sister. Hope you know. Hmm. And if you manage to add it, one thing will happen. Do you know what? Your goods will not be shipped. It will not. Because the place you added does not exist in China. And hope you know 1688.com is not meant for you. Yes, I mean it's not meant for you in Lagos. It's not meant for you in Nigeria. It's not meant for you located in Ghana. It's not meant for you located in Cameroon. It's not meant for you located outside China. Originally, 1688 is not meant for you. Yes, it's meant for those within China. Hope you know that. Yes. And based on this now, suppliers, most suppliers in 1688 only ship within China. Because in their knowledge, anybody buying from that website is in Chinese, is, is in China. Yes, that's why if you even check the language of 168 by default, is Chinese. Although we can translate it to English or French or any language of your choice, but by default, is in Chinese. That's the proof that the website is not actually meant for non Chinese residents, for non China residents. So now, having said all of that, let me now show you how to add your shipping address on 1688. I will do it first with 1688 app. Then after, I will do it on web. That's 1688 app and 1688 web version. Open your 1688 app. Go to your profile. So on your profile, click on the setting symbol. This. If you don't know how to go to your profile, this is how. Just come to this place. You will see this woman icon. Click on this thing like woman being two, just a two D, have you one D? Click on it. When you click on it, you will see the certain icon. This thing. Click on it. When you click on this, give it some time to load. Then you come to an interface like this. Click on the second row. I would like a second row, third row. Just know it's this one. This one. Let me translate. Delivery address management. Delivery address management, click on it. When you click on it now, this is how a Virgin account will look. That's if you have not added any address before. That's if you have not ordered and paid with your account before. This is how it will look. Yes, by default. So when you come to a place like this, click on click on this. Remember, we are using app. And remember, I have my all my address. I have it on my notepad already. So all I'll do now is I'll go on my notepad. I'll use SkyJet address first. This is China to Nigeria. I'll use China to Nigeria first. Then I'll do China to Ghana, China to Cameroon. So I will open it. I will copy everything. I will copy everything here. Select all. I will copy. When I copy it, after copying it, go back to your app. Then are you seeing this first row? This field. Tap on this field. This field. When you tap on it, long press. When you long press, you will see something like paste. Click on paste. After pasting now, click on auto identification. That is it. Let me translate. Auto identification. Click on it. When you click on it, everything will align. Let's see what happens. You are seeing it, everything aligned. But if you check, some places, if you check here, name cannot be empty. You will see that the name, the name row, the, this, the field provided for name was not automatically filled. So what I'll do now is I'll tap on it. Then I'll type my name. Learn with speed. Then my phone number. Again, you can add your member number. Okay. Oh, this has reached as a reach is limit. You can just if if your name is too long, you can abbreviate it. Let me use Len. Len W S. Uh -huh. So now I've used this. I can still go ahead and add my member number. You know, Skyjet has member number. So let me say your member number is 342. Or better is it, anyway, let's do it this way. 
add your member member number first. Let me say three, four, five, zero, one. You know, Skyjet and some other logistics, they have a unique number or digit they are assigned to people. So it will be like this. This now is okay. My member number is there, or your unique number. Some logistics has unique number. Some logistics have unique number. So you can't just use your name without the unique number. So after that, now you have to stay come here. Then type shipping mark. Or, or write on the body. Anyone, shipping mark or write on the body. So if you want to use write on the body, at times it will make sense to go to your translator and translate this shipping mark to Chinese. It might make sense. You can use it like this anyway. So when you are done with this, click on this, on this orange background. If you want to make this your default address, like if this shipping company is what you use 247, like you use this one, steady, steady, steady. You can just toggle here. When you toggle here, this will be set as your default address. Yes, just toggle it. You can you are seeing that toggle. Now, when you are done, click on this orange background. When you click on it, wait for the address to be added. Now the address will be added here. You are seeing that's the first address. Ba. So now we have added the first address successfully. We'll add the second address. I'll be adding three different addresses. Now, if you have the second address to add, you can use the same method. Click on this. When you click here. Now let me add the uh, iron Chicago. That's a uh, from China to Ghana. I will go back to my notepad, then find the address. Uh, this is the address, China to Ghana. So I will highlight everything and copy. Select all. I will copy it. After copying it, go back to your once you set it up. I'm using app for now. I'll still use Chrome for this. If you are not understanding this, you can you can do a, a little password to where I use Chrome browser. So when you come here, you are seeing the we already have one existing address, the one we just added. So come back, come down, click here, new shipping address. When you click there, the same method I used before. Click on this stuff, then long press. When you long press, like press and hold. That's what is long press. Click on paste. After clicking on paste, now select auto identification or click on auto identification. When you click on it, all the address also will be aligned. Now, after this, still come here, add your name, add your name. Len, let me, Len WS, that's Len with speed. then add your number let me say something like two one six seven any random number then your sorry not random number please your mobile number add it here you can start it with two three three or zero or even omit the zero anyone you do just let it be your number after you are done with that When you are done with that, you still need to come down here. You need to come down here and write the same thing. Shipping mark. Put your name again and your number. That's your name and your number. Learn WS. Then your number. After that, click on the orange background. If you still want to use this as your default, you can click here. But you can only have one default address. So... I will click on the one you are done. Click on the orange background. I've clicked on it now. Let's see what happens. Now I have my second address. Abby. Okay, now we have added the second address successfully. Let's add the third one. So I'll go to my notepad. The third address is Ghana to Cameroon. Please, sorry, China to Cameroon. This one is interesting. Yes, this is interesting because the address is not actually organized by default. So, this is Joe Express. I'll tap on it. And like I said, this address is interesting, this one. Because if you check, you see this address is very long. Like, it's very, very lengthy. 
So if I will, I will try using everything like that. Let's see what happens. I will copy everything. Select all. Copy. Then come to my one city app. Now on my on the one city app, I will still use the same method I've been using in adding the address. So I will click on new shipping address, which is here. When I click it, after clicking that, I will now long press the way I showed you paste. Then this auto identification. Don't forget this. Don't forget this is very vital. If you forget this one, you go hard though. So oh, let's you see what will happen. You see what will happen. It will not work. You are seeing now everything, everything turned to red. That's to tell you the address is too long and ambiguous. So all we we'll do now is we we'll edit it to perfection. Now, if you check the address you have, you will see that it has Chinese language and it has English language. Yes, the those one language you can read those the English language parts or the French language part that you can read. That's for your own consumption. The Chinese, the Chinese version of it is for the supplier. You can't just carry it like that, pull it like that, and go and deposit in your address bar or address uh, uh, channel. Sorry, address. So what you would do is remove the one for yourself, the one meant for your consumption. Read it understand it and remove it now and remove it Abba. so if you don't remove it want it will be very difficult to to achieve what i'm about to show you so just follow the footsteps yeah so all i will do now is i will remove it i will remove all those uh, english and french language So all I'll do now is I'll also remove the excess name. You are seeing the numbers. I mean numbers, not name, please. I will remove the other three numbers. I have four numbers. The higher the number, the more the numbers you have, the more complicated, the more ambiguous. So I will delete the numbers. Also deleted, I deleted the space left. I want to make the address as short as possible. <sighs> After that, now you can come to to this a uh, you can look for other english stuffs there okay look at this now by a new address is not necessary then remove the french letter too is not necessary already this address is a address so that's why i removed it once an item gets to this warehouse it will be shipped by a after that i copied it come to my one city app then click on add new address then i long press long press on that space then use auto recognition after that or identification come to the name row then change it to your name learn with speed and your number please learn with speed is not your name use your name then your phone number you can use 237 and start you can use zero and start you can use you move the zero and start with it after that now Come to the further info about the address. Type shipping mark or write on the box. Either write on the box or shipping mark. Write on the box or shipping mark. They are the same. So you now type your name. Learn with speed. Please, your name, not learn with speed. Learn with speed is not your name, like I said before. Then type your phone number. After you type your phone number, click on the orange background. Once you Click on that. Wait, you see what will happen. The address will be added. You can see now the address has been added to this. Now we have finished adding address for 1688 app. That's using 1688 app version. Okay, what next? Let's add address also using 1688 web version. And for this web version, I will be accessing it with Chrome browser. So right now, launch your Chrome browser or Safari for iPhone. When you launch it, type 168.com, log in. Log in first, please. If you don't log in, you, you won't get it. So when you log in, click on your profile. So on your profile now, this is how to get your profile in case. This is your profile, this place. Uh, you, that's your profile in case you don't know how to get it. You can always translate. 
always translate now you will see something like this go down go down to common two when you come to the common two part screw screw like from right to left you will see see this like this you are seeing what i'm doing drag from right to left you will see something like this shipping address click on the shipping address when you click on it you will see already existing address there click on new shipping address so long press the exact way we did it before long press here paste after pasting click on auto identification auto identification when you click on it it will it, it will it will align itself rightly so come to the name part add your name and your phone number and your phone number also your your phone number just the full no phone number please then come down to here sorry then come down here and write shipping mark shipping mark or write on the box let me use write on the box so it won't be like i'm using one thing write on the box shipping mark or write on the box anyone your name and phone number when you are done with that click on save and that's it for that okay now we have added first address for using chrome browser you can repeat the process for for second and third address and as much as you want it has no limit you can add up to personally i've added up to 25 some time ago so i don't know the limit but it's up to 25 you can add 25 different addresses up to that yes okay now you have finished adding the address all the address how do you feel you you feel happy right yes if this content helped you if this video helped you in any way please subscribe to this channel if this video helped you in any way like the video if this video helped you in any way turn on notification so that when i update this video with this channel with new video it will be alerted yes and you can check by weekly you can check by weekly i post videos here that will help your importation experience i post it here weekly so just check by check by again you can join the telegram support group for support if you check the the video description or the comment section i will add the telegram support group link okay so when you join the telegram group we can communicate more effectively thanks you have to do so and please don't forget to subscribe hope you have subscribed